What's going on guys, it's Greeny here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking to you about BonkBot, a full tutorial and extended version about everything you can use on BonkBot, guys. Unlike my pinned video, which gives you a quick snippet on what you can use BonkBot for to trade Solana meme coins like an absolute pro. So if you like my content, guys, please subscribe down below. Support me by also smashing the like button on this video. It helps me grow as a content creator. Memberships have started on my channel recently. I've got more than five members in this channel and I've just recorded an exclusive video for them. If that's something that you're interested in and would like to check out the perks, you can hit the join button and it'll give you a little bit of a description, give you the details about what that membership entails. Okay, so check that out if that's something you're interested in. I do apologize that I have been away the past couple of weeks. I just got married. I just moved out of my rental property as well. So I have been doing a, a few busy in real life things. So here we are back full time in crypto and I'm super excited to get you this BonkBot tutorial video. Here's the video guys. So guys, first things first, the best way to sign up for BonkBot is either hitting that link in the description below in this YouTube video or alternatively coming to my Twitter profile, greeny underscore ETH, hitting my link tree here on my profile. It'll open my page. It'll have all my different uh, socials that you can connect with me. Obviously, what we're looking at today is BonkBot tutorial. So let's click on the BonkBot referral. It's going to open this page and it's going to open you in a web browser. Now that web browser is obviously on Telegram. So you will need to have a Telegram app set up as well. As you can see here guys essentially this is what it's going to show you as you move into bonkbot so i've completely wiped mine i'm starting this fresh the best way to prompt it is to forward slash start and that's going to give you a quick overview of a few different things now obviously i've sent solana here before but the best way to send solana is to actually copy it from this wallet right here so as you can see this is my wallet on screen right now i would copy this wallet paste it in my phantom solana wallet and send some solana over so i can use it to trade using bonkbot now obviously you need to be aware of slippage you need to be aware of fees you need to be aware of price impact so you do need to have a little bit of solana as collateral just to make sure you can get in and out of trades in case you're looking to actively trade now let's use this as a full tutorial okay we're going to go through all the different tabs so let's start with settings because settings is obviously very important when you come here it actually gives you a nice detail around all of the different settings okay so bonkbot has announcements it has minimum position value which is what i'm talking about as well so you do need to have a little bit more solana than um, a little bit of solana to make sure you can get in and out of trades you can set up auto buys i don't have auto buys because it just means it can be hard to manage your trades um Essentially, all these other factors and settings we're going to go through very shortly. So if you have a look here, you can click announcements that will take you to that um, trade. You can also set up minimum position value. So if that's something that you're interested in, say you have a bigger wallet and you want to trade, say, two sol each minimum time, then you can change that value there. Auto buy here. Okay, so this is what I was talking about here. As you can see, I have disabled. However, you can enable this and essentially it will allow you to auto buy whenever you paste a contract in onto bonk. But um, by configuration, now this is what I like to use. So whether I want to click one salt to enter that trade or 2.5 sold to enter that trade okay and so you can click them up and i'll show you how that works when we buy a token later sell same so you can set these percentages, you can alter them as well. And same with the buy options. If you wanna set this to 10 sol and 20 sol, you can do that by replying to it and setting the new amount that you're looking to buy with. Same with sell. Obviously I like to either sell 100 or I like to sell 50%. And again, you can change that whenever you'd like um, to configure around what you would like to trade or how you like to trade. So a lot of people maybe like to trade with 25% or maybe 33% to get out of positions slower than going either half or full out like I currently have on my screen. Slippage, slippage is a essentially price impact moving up and down as people as buyers and sellers start to get in and out of these tokens. So you do want to cover slippage, okay? I usually set mine between that five to 10% depending on how liquid and also how volatile those particular tokens are that you're looking at. Now, max price impact. So this is essentially how much do you want this price action to go up or down before you actually want to scale in or scale out of a position. Now, 25% is quite large. So I would recommend that you do look into making this a little bit smaller for those particular tokens. Now, obviously there's some extra transaction priority tokens um, and different um, settings down below, but I don't like to use them. I just like to keep it nice and simple. So that's what the settings looks like, guys. Again, if you want to change this, you just would click that and then you would reply it. So this would be how much I want to enter a token with. I would just reply it and maybe I wanted to change it to one sol and 0.5 sol and you can do that all the time. Now, obviously to delete um, potential 
uh, Bonkbot uh, messages, you just click select and then click delete, or you can click the close button there and you just click delete guys to keep it nice and clean. So as you can see right here, we've got that. Now, obviously if you wanna um, get in and um, obviously send some Solana or withdraw some Solana, as you can see here guys, you would just either copy this address and paste it, like I said before, using your Phantom wallet, just like a normal transaction that you're sending money from one Phantom wallet to perhaps another or to an exchange, okay? It's the same process, except you're sending it straight to Bonkbot. Obviously if you wanna export your private key so you can actually have that in your phantom wallet and that's what makes phantom wallet super amazing you can export it there i won't do this because that'll reveal my key but that's how you get your key embedded into the solana phantom wallet as well obviously you can reset your wallet but deposit sold will get you that um essentially that what i just spoke to you about withdrawal or sold same here as well guys if you click the withdrawal or sold you reply with the data so i would just click reply and then i would paste my phantom wallet in in there and then i can withdraw all my money from bonkbot so that's how you can buy and sell and also that's how you can uh, withdraw and that's how you can also deposit different money and different solana into these tokens so let's just get rid of those now and let's get into the crux of why you're actually here so as you can see here i've got enough sold to make a trade um, currently. And what I love about Bonkbot is that it's instantaneous. They have backup bots to make it super fast. And what you can do is actually paste some contracts in there. So if we come to Myro, this is a very weak chart, wouldn't be buying Myro here. But if you come back, paste some Myro, uh, contract that it's going to give you a few details around Myro. Okay, so as you can see here, its price is currently 0.118. Uh, it has been fluctuating up and down the past 24 hours, six hours, one hour and five minutes. It gives you the current market cap and essentially it tells you what your price impact will be. And that's my max buy. So that's why it says 2.5 sold there. So it says my price impact is probably going to be about one uh, percent. So that is quite something that you need to think about when you're getting in and out of tokens. And I have had a few people in the replies to my video that's pinned on the channel ask, why am I not getting as much profit as I thought I would have calculated? But it's because one slippage, one fees, but also price impact guys. So there is a spread from buy to sell. So always remember that and always do remember that. Okay. Now, obviously, as you can see here, guys, you can use Explorer, you can use BirdEye, you can use the scan. So that's skull scan to check the actual blockchain and you can check the chart as well. Um, you can click those at any time and it'll take you to those representatives representative sites to obviously track the, the token. So this would be Mario that you're looking at. Um, obviously, as you can see here, guys, you can buy one soul, you can buy a 2.5 soul as we just saw in the settings. And those are the presets that I like to use. And obviously, if you would like, you can buy a certain amount of soul. So say I'm really bullish on this token, I want to enter 10 soul into this, I would hit the buy X and I would reply with 10 soul. Okay. However, I'm not going to be buying Myro. One that I would like to just keep my eye on right now is GME. And for the sake of this, this is one that I have um, been looking to trade at, at the moment. So if we come back to uh, deck screen and my favorite way to track charts, to track the contracts and that sort of thing. Um, um, I copy the contract from Deck Screener. I've obviously done my check. So I use Soul Scanner um, here, guys. As you can see, I use Harambe uh, recently as well. But I use Soul Scanner and I use Rug Check to check my Solana tokens to make sure they're nice and safe, that they're not tax modifiable, that they're not. Um, liquidity pools have been are closed and all those types of things that the top 10 holders don't hold 90% of the tokens. I've done all my due diligence to make sure it's safe. And then I look to copy it and paste it here into um, Bonkbot so I can delete the Myro one. And if I would like, I can click either buy or I can just paste a contract in like we did before with Myro. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy this token. So it's gonna pop up, it's gonna say buy token. To buy a token, enter a token address or the bird light link. So if I paste that in, so that's the GME, okay? And it's gonna give you a few details, very similar to what we just spoke about before with Myro, but as you can see here, guys, it's gonna show you the different stats um, that I'm talking about. So if I click buy 2.5, so I'm wanna get into this token, I've looked at the chart, I've looked at the sentiment on Twitter, I've checked the contract to make sure it's safe, and I really wanna have exposure to this token. It's gonna to show you what this looks like. So as you can see here, guys, I had 20 soul initially, it's gonna show you the soul scan if you'd like to, check it on the blockchain to make sure it all went through, and obviously you can check that on deck screen to make sure it's gone through as well. But there's a, there's a link there to, to check that out on the blockchain. But as you can see here, guys, it's gonna give you a detailed information about different tokens that you're currently in, okay? Now, what you can see here is if I do refresh it, um, it's gonna give me my net profit or my net losses. So if we have a look here, guys, I've currently lost 0.01 Solana in this trade already. And that's obviously from price impact, from the slippage that you need to get in and out of these tokens and those types of things as well. So what I'm hoping for, if I do come back to the charts, is that I do would like to see this uh, continue up over the coming days or the coming weeks, okay? So back to Bonkbot. As you can see here, if I'd like to buy more, I can click buy one soul or buy 2.5 soul or buy more soul at a different rate. Um, previous and next, essentially what that actually means is if I have other positions open, I could scroll between them to make sure that I have them 
um, that I can keep up to date with my several different plays. So if I had say a bonk trade open, I can click next and it's gonna show me the same stats on Bonkbot. Now the beauty of this is that it shows you GameStop here, it shows you GameStop at the top so you know which one you're looking at when you're actually trading in and out of these tokens. So again, as you can see here guys, net profit, 1%, um, one loss, 1% one loss guys, but as you can see, you can see how much soul you own um, in this token, how much GameStop you own and how much your wallet balance is left. Again, you can refresh, you can always check these links down below like it showed you when you're looking to buy. Obviously, if I want to sell, I can sell 50%, I can sell 100%, and it's really quick when it likes to do that. Now, for the sake of this video, I'll sell this really quickly. Um, this is obviously going to make me have a little bit of a loss because I've just got in and out of this. But as you can see here, I click sell, swap successful again. As you can see, it's essentially showing me the, the blockchain link and I can click that to go double check that I am fully out of the token. If you scroll back to the top, guys, you click wallet, it's gonna refresh your wallet. And as you can see here, I didn't actually lose too much soul on that trade, so that's lucky. But as you can see here, I'm fully out of the trade. I started with around 20 and a little bit of soul and I am fully out and I now have 20 and a little bit soul left in my wallet. So that's a full comprehensive um, trade on Bonkbot. Now, the beauty of Bonkbot is that they have transparency on Twitter. You can come to their profile, you can check them out. As you can see up the top, if we click on that, it's going to take you straight to their Twitter page. They are super transparent. You can send them a DM if you're having any issues. Obviously, comment down below if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help you out. But these guys are super good, okay? As you can see, 43K followers. Um, and if you have any other questions, guys, please let me know down below. However, what I would suggest is that you do pin this to the top so that it does keep it nice and fresh up the top so that you can simply buy and simply sell some of these tokens. Now, Bonkbot, super fast. I really do enjoy using it. Um, again, when you want to clean this all up, just right click, click select. Okay, select, select, select. All right. Um, and you can clean this up really quickly. As you can see on the screen, guys, delete, delete, delete. All right, and now we're back towards where I wanted to be at the start. And if I refresh my wallet, I actually made a little bit of Solana in that trade, which is pretty crazy. So there you go, guys. That's a full comprehensive tutorial. Um, you can set alerts. So if you click alerts, you can actually set alerts around potential new pools or potential new tokens that are dropped on Solana. That's up to you guys. There's 14,000 members in there. You can join it. However, that goes off very, very frequently. As you can imagine, there's so many new contracts, so many new tokens that are coming every single minute on Solana. So I'm not a fan of doing that because it's just too messy, okay? So the way I like to use it is by just using the actual tool. And again, it shows you over here, you can come into the announcements page, guys. They don't have many in there. As you can see, they have changed. They've got, you can, as you can see, you can have new pools, burned alerts, you can have renounce alerts, you can have burned and renounce alerts. So if that's something you're more uh, savvy around, or if you want to be even safer and wait for particular tokens to show that they're actually bounced, uh, burned and renounced, then you can set yourself up for that. But at the end of the day, guys, I like to use Bonkbot simply to buy and sell tokens because I do my own due diligence. I check the security and the safety elsewhere on RugCheck and using Solana Scanner and some other bots in the blockchain that I like to use. Um, and obviously, what I do like to use is deck screener up oh, i got rid of it here's deck screener guys so here it is this is where i like to chart my my um coins that i'm in my tokens that i'm looking at it gives me all the details as well as a backup to bonk bot guys so i hope that gives you lots of insight a full tutorial of sorts compared to my little six minute clip that you've seen pinned to this channel if you do have any questions if you do have any queries please comment below i'm always here to help you out so thanks and i hope you enjoyed this video guys so there you have it guys, my full tutorial on Bonkbot. If you like my content, please subscribe down below. Don't forget to smash a like button to support me as a content creator. And don't forget to check out that membership option where you can click the join button and it'll give you a little bit of the details around how you can become a member to Greenies YouTube channel. As always guys, I do appreciate your support. Thanks for being here and I will see you again soon.